All right, guys, um, if you've been watching our channel, you know that uh, not only do I like to grow food and I like to raise animals for food, I enjoy cooking too. Um, and I also really enjoy uh, cooking shows, uh, chefs on YouTube, and one of my favorite guys to watch is uh, Gouda on Gouda Foods. If you uh, haven't watched that, that is some of the best food porn out there. And when I'm watching that, I think Amy even gets jealous. Um, and if you... <laughs> are you back there laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love some Gouda. And he uh, he's really... he unbelievable to watch and he's really into cooking wagyu and i want some wagyu but who has the budget for wagyu well i found poor man's wagyu i was at walmart and we were buying uh groceries and i found walmart wagyu so we said what the heck we're going to give it a shot um, this is American Wagyu, which is normally m is the um, imported beef from Japan that has been um, bred with usually um, the Angus beef or something like that. The Marblin's not quite as the same as Wagyu, but it is a lot better than the normal beef that you that you know we get in the United States and this is like really cheaper than what I would normally see you know even American Wagyu so we're going to give it a try so in good form we're going to just cut these open and let's get a better look at what we have here Good. And the, I'm really kind of surprised because the fat actually does feel different than regular beef fat. I'm not sure it feels quite as the same as what Gouda talks about but it is definitely different than the normal steak you get at Walmart which we don't normally buy steak at Walmart that marbling is really nice yeah that's, that's pretty decent marbling so and it's so and so what we're going to do is we are going to I want to. I really want to give just the taste of the uh, the um, meat itself. So we're going to just do pepper and salt. do is I'm going to set these on a rack and we're going to salt them. We're going to let the salt meld through the whole steak and we're going to let these rest overnight 
in the refrigerator. And tomorrow we will cook them on the grill. Yummy. So, I actually... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that is. That does not feel like normal fat. That is definitely different. Yeah, it is definitely Ooh. different. I'm excited about this one, honey. Yep. All right, so we'll see you guys in 24 hours. All right, foresters, here we are. We have our Wagyu steaks, or at least our Walmart Wagyu steaks out. And uh, they've been brining overnight, salt brine, dry salt brine overnight in the refrigerator. They are looking great. Um, so we're gonna let them sit here just for a few minutes to kind of get to room temperature a little bit. Meanwhile, we are going to be making garlic fries, and we're going to start the uh, garlic butter sauce for that first. So I'm going to take a whole stick of salted butter, put it in a pan, and start it melting. Got that pan a little hot. Got that going ahead of time. A little too hot. There we go. A little bit of garlic paste in there. Get that stirring around. You can drop that down on low. And this is gonna get drizzled over top of our french fries. This is something else that I saw Gouda make and looked really good. And we're just using frozen, great value brand, crinkle cut french fries. A poor man version. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to put these guys right here in the oven. Follow the instructions on the bag, huh? Right, do what it says. While we heat this up, this is going to be good. And uh, on his, he put a grated Parmesan. Well, we have that. We got great value brand, fake grated Parmesan. <laughs> it works. The kids call it stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. That's gonna go on. Oh, I forgot one thing that I like to do with these fries. Before I put them in the oven to get these guys, this is a little secret to get them to brown nice and good for us, is I like to spray them down with a little olive oil. That actually makes them brown up nice. And now, it's time to throw these steaks out on the grill. As Gouda would say, let's do this.
right, we're gonna let these steaks rest for about five to 10 minutes while we uh, finish up on the fries. Fries are out of the oven. We are going to be putting them in this bowl, adding the garlic, oops. Add our butter and garlic sauce. a lot of yummy let me get that mixed around there real good sprinkle the parmesan on nice and heavy We love Parmesan, as the kids call it, stinky cheese. And there's our side dish. Now, to unveil the steak. And let's see how this came out. Ooh, perfect cook. Check this one out. Oh, this one cuts even nicer. Now for the taste test. Time to taste it out. We're gonna try the meat or we're gonna try the. I want to try the meat. I'm All, the right. Maker. All right, guys. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. Super tender. Tender, juicy, and nice. It just easy to chew. A lot of flavor. Oh really my. good beefy flavor. Oh my. The fat is different than, than I don't think it's the same as the, the Wagyu that uh, that Gouda gets. The mm -hmm. um, This is good. Mm. This is really really good. Really really good guys. This is the best Walmart beef I've ever gotten yeah. in my entire life. The best any supermarket beef I've ever had. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's soft. It's still juicy. Kind of melts in your mouth. The fat melts. That's so good. All right, we're going to try these garlic butter fries now. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh! That's good. That's French fries. You don't need ketchup with. No, this is awesome. Mmm, mmm. We'll definitely have the um, mm. the recipe for these down below. Not bad for a poor man meal. Yeah. <laughs> well. Not exactly poor man. It's poor man ragu, but this is expensive. Mm -hmm. This is still expensive steak. Right. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Usually, if I play, pay twenty dollars for a steak in a supermarket, 
It's a big stain. Mm -hmm. I do get, I've only came across two of them. That, um, some of the fat that's on the very end got really super hard from the grill. That's so the gristle. That's, that's the yeah. gristle. So it's you don't not, have that in the ribeye. Right. So that's that's what I sat over there just to let you guys know. I think this was a success. I think we might try this again. This is really good for mm -hmm. us trying. This is our first time trying Wagyu, um, even though it's um, not the traditional one, but the poor man version one, or the American, American, American Wagyu. Wagyu. Which isn't purebred Wagyu, the Japanese Wagyu. It's, yeah. They import the Wagyu beef over, the, mm -hmm. the cattle over, and it's usually uh, crossbred with another, mm -hmm. usually... Um, the the um, black Angus mm. or the Angus beef, but it is delicious. All right, and remember, guys, cook up something different for your family. Bye. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button. Remember that bell and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.